What's up guys? Grim here. We have had a donation. And it is a $20 donation from VD and he says, Merry Christmas. Keep up the amazing videos. You're awesome. Thank you very much. It's really cool to get a Christmas gift from you and I really, really appreciate it. We don't get too many donations like we used to, so yeah these kind of donations mean a lot and with the twenty dollar donation of course that is going to be two rex giveaways so if you'd like to participate in this giveaway all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below with your character name and server make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and hit that like button of course if you're somebody that has used my referral link in the description below the videos in order to make your rift account and you are one of the winners you will win 10 times that amount of rex the winners will be announced in the next weekend video so good luck everyone what's up guys today we're going to talk about the priorities that i have for my characters for my channel as well as for me because the new year is coming around so it's time to start setting resolutions so to start out with, let's go with the characters because, of course, this is a Rift channel. We want to talk about Rift, so let's go ahead and open up the character profile. And the way that I'm gearing out my characters is on a priority list because at first I was trying to burn all of my Warfront charges on all of my characters. And that became too tough to do at times because uh, on my Warrior, of course, I've got a better than 50% uh, win rate but whenever you get on the last character on my priority list he's got like a 30% win rate so yeah I mean gear is obviously an issue there because uh, the character with 30% win rate is the one that I put the least amount of gear on so he can't make as much of an impact in war fronts like my warrior can so I had to do a priority system. Uh, the, just to put it into perspective, let's say that I win 50% of my war fronts across the board on all of my characters. I have five different characters. So with, power, uh, with patron status, I get three bonus war front charges, which makes it to where I have 10 war front charges on each of my characters. In order to burn that, that would mean I had to do 20 war fronts on every single character in order to get the wins. And that's hoping that I get the right, you know, win rate. And that would mean that I'd have to do a hundred war fronts on all of my, uh, you know, across the board for each week. And that's not even co counting conquest. If I want to do anything else like uh, the instant adventure weeklies or anything like that, I, man, just so much time was being spent trying to burn these war front charges. And it was taking a toll on me spending time with the family and everything like that. So I had to make it a priority system. So the warrior is first on priority. Second is rogue. Third is mage. Fourth is cleric. And fifth is primalist. So whenever you look at my warrior, he's pretty much mostly uh, decked out for the most part. I have a lot of room for improvement, but hopefully he'll get there pretty soon. Uh, you get to the rogue, he, he's decently geared, I guess, you know, he's got several, uh, I, I'd say mostly dream breaker items with a war, uh, warmonger here and there. And then of course you got something that's being, uh, bolstered up here and there as well. And then as soon as you start getting into the mage and the cleric and especially the primalist, primalist is like 100% bolster gear. Uh, the mage is mostly bolstered, so yeah, it, it gets worse and worse as it goes along. But hopefully I'll gear out this character and then I can put number one priority on the rogue pretty soon and then everybody else will start getting uh, better geared out as we go along. So if you look at my character, I have uh, some war, warmonger pieces here, which is very nice. I have some uh, cloaks and stuff that I need to improve. Uh, I will, yeah, uh, I, I need to upgrade this because this is strength heavy and it's got crit power. All of my gear, I'm trying to get primary stat heavy, which is strength on this character, and then have either crit power or else attack power. So also another thing is, as you go down the list, you'll see that I have T2 items and T1 items. 
Well, I'm wanting to replace them all with uh, the PvP gear, so to say, that comes from the Marauder Cache. And get all Warmonger. I want all Warmonger on my character. Not only will it satisfy the little bit of OCD I have in me, but also it'll make it to where I can do comparisons better whenever I'm going out and fighting in uh, Warfront matches. I can see how the PvP uh, gear is stacking up against other people's gear if it's like if I'm just you know one shot and uh, undergeared people how I'm compared to raid geared people stuff like that I want I want to see it out actually on uh, the gameplay standpoint rather than just comparing numbers because uh, not to get sidetracked too much but uh, I'm going to do an upcoming state of PvP video for next weekend I believe and yeah we're finding out that raid gear is once again better than warmonger ocho said that it was supposed to be uh near even but people are finding out that's not the case and that's not good so um we've had it in the past where you know like the raid weapons the dps actually didn't get down bolstered in warfronts so people could run in with these relic weapons and man just smash into people and well the raid gear is making a big difference now i just got out of a war front where i went against some raid gear people and well should i say the down bolstered lim limit and it was a lot better than what my gear was because they were they were basically just blowing me up every time they see me i still went like nine and three or something like that but every time i seen them it was one shot onto me and i was like what is going on you know uh everybody's talking about the time to kill people is so short right now because whenever you get attacked you get blown up it's not like a progression to where you can actually retaliate very well and you just you, you know if if there's any retaliation as in they're not killing you instantly then a purifier or a, a preserver or something like that is going to heal you up if you got healers should i say um so basically you have to blow everybody up because the uh, purifier heals is just so good right now and you know it, it's it's becoming a weird thing in pvp because we're in a bad place right now and i'm hoping that it gets worked out but i'll go over that in the state of pvp video i'm getting a little sidetracked here but yeah all right so we got frost keeper chest we got frost keeper gloves which of course uh these two pieces are t1 items uh we got the drown prophet t2 belt uh we got really nice leg armor here which this is uh strength heavy with attack power i just got this so i don't even have it ruined out or anything so we gotta apply some runes to it all right then we have warmonger boots which are crit heavy uh crit power should i say uh warmonger ring, uh earring we got a crafted earring which we need to replace this eventually hopefully we'll get lucky and get the right item uh then we got the dream breaker necklace which is crit power i need to upgrade this and get it all the way up to a warmonger uh, i got the pvp trinket here but it is physical crit which kind of sucks this is the very first item i ever got out of a marauder cache and yeah i've had it forever and i've been wanting to upgrade it but it, it always eats at me because i see the physical crit and i'm like i don't want to upgrade it i want to upgrade one of these other pieces of gear that has attack power or crit power or something all right so we got a crafted ring here Boo. Uh, we got a PvP ring, but it's endurance heavy, so both of my rings are not what I want. Um, Synergy Crystal, a really terrible seal here. Um, we got a Warmonger Blade, which is my primary weapon here, is fully upgraded. Um, I kind of got thoughts on this as well, because the best gear in PvP uh that pvpers can get outside of getting the you know pve gear so to say is uh you know it can all be bought with credits so you can buy the weapons with credits you can buy all the accelerators with credits so you can upgrade all of your uh marauder cash gear and get it to the top level 
by buying credits if you wanted to. Well, I don't want to do that. I, I went ahead and spent some credits on uh, my primary weapon here, but I'm going to go ahead and work up uh, trying to get the other Warmonger pieces just by getting the Warmonger marks. Uh, but I had extra credits laying around from all the giveaways and stuff and uh, decided to go ahead and buy myself an item fi uh, finally. Instead of giving it all to you guys, I finally spent uh, something on myself and got me a Warmonger blade. So yeah very nice uh, i got the t1 blade here on my uh, secondary weapon and then got a dream breaker bow here boo i need to have that replaced uh, as far as essences i made sure to take advantage of all the seasonal essences so i got the uh, i think this was the fall essence that was best in slot at the time and then i got the winter one here and then uh got uh, really generic uh, essence here that you can buy off the auction house for like a hundred plat. Uh, got a greater essence here that is being uh, bolstered up because it's not even dream breaker right now. Um, yeah, uh, the thing that bothers me about this is the little bit of OCD in me starts going, it's endurance heavy. Oh, I don't want to upgrade even though it's a damaging uh, effect on it. It's got crit power. Man, it's endurance heavy. So that kind of eats at me. All right. So uh, we got a really good essence here, which is strength heavy and crit power. And then we got, um, yeah, another generic one that you can buy for like 100 or 200 plat or something like that off the auction house. So that's the gear on my character. This is my primary geared one. I'm not going to go over the other characters because... Yeah, it's going to be mostly bolstered items after you get past the rogue, which is my second character. But that's how I'm sitting on this character. How I'm wanting to do is I want to get full warmonger gear. I want to have all PvP gear, so to say, on my character. And just see how I stand. And uh, see how it works out against raid-geared people or else under-geared people. I want, to, I want to compare like that. So that's where I'm standing on my character. Um... All of my characters, I have moved them around. Uh, all of my characters were on Wolfsbane, but now they're all over the place. I got uh, my Rogue on Deepwood. I got my Cleric on Greybriar. I got, you know, just all over the place. And I'm wanting to join guilds on each of those servers, like, uh, like the top guild on each server or something. And... Uh, yeah, just basically mingle with a lot of other players. I'm wanting to avoid any of the guilds that have like really toxic players. Like, you know, there's there's a couple, uh, there's a guild or two out that has like really like hateful toxic players in it. And I don't want to get into those type of guilds, but I'd like to get into some of the other top guilds. Um, you know, want to keep it all positive. Don't want to uh, support the people that are negative to uh, the game. So... Yeah, well, I'm going to try to get all of my characters in guilds like that. Hopefully max level guild because I need the favor increases and everything to gear out my characters. Um, but uh, I'm also wanting to do a big campaign to get the name Grim on my characters. I've always wanted my characters to be named Grim and not Grimuck or Grimol or something like that. I want Grim. And... The thing is, is that all of those uh, Grim on every single server has been taken uh, by people that are inactive now. I've never seen another person named just Grim in the game. So it's obvious that it's inactive people. Uh, I'm wanting to see if they'll release the names. I want to basically trademark the name Grim on this game. And uh, because I have so many people going, are you the real Grim? Are you the guy from YouTube? Or, you know, all that stuff. So I'd like to get the name on every server. And, uh, yeah, that way there's no controversy, no dispute. No, everybody knows who I am. And if they have any questions about any of the builds or uh, questions about the channel or anything else, they can just ask me on, on my characters and never be confused. So, yeah. That's what I want to do with my characters. And... Yeah, get them geared out. Um, as far as my guild, uh, the guild isn't really too much of a priority right now. It's kind of, it's always been kind of a passive guild, like uh, just, uh, I call it casual, to where everybody can join, you know, just take part if they want to. If they don't want to be in the guild, they can leave and go elsewhere. It's no big deal. 
but we are a very high level guild on Wolfsbane, so if you're wanting to join, you can. Just don't expect a lot. I don't think that I'm going to be leading PvE raids or something like that. Alright, so let's move on to what I'm wanting to do with the channel. The channel is going to be taking, uh, hopefully, a more aggressive approach coming up. Uh, the thing is, is that I'm trying to do a lot more things, but uh, having the time to do it is the issue. Because, of course, you know, I, I'm, I'm working on some trying videos, trying to do videos for them. Uh, I do my normal videos for you guys. Uh, I got to play and work my characters up, but then I got to make money on the side as well because, you know, it, I can't live off of uh, playing video games just yet. Um, but to make it to where I can spend more time on the game, uh, I've always gotten donations from you guys and that's always helped. Uh, what I went ahead and did is everybody was telling me to create a Patreon account. Uh, that way that you guys can like instead of donating ten dollars here and twenty dollars there and stuff like that You can just donate a dollar if you want and it's taken out every month And if we get enough people that's willing to donate a dollar it adds up You know if you want to support uh, the rift community and help me do all the things that I'm wanting to do for the game You know, maybe you'll consider doing that and uh, that way I can devote more time to entertaining you guys and making build videos and all that stuff and we got lots of rewards for it too like if you look on the patreon page uh it is in the link to below the video in the description if you want to look at it there because we got it to where uh it's the new donation link so to say and if you look on there if we hit like certain goals uh, like if uh, if we hit the $50 mark or something like that, the person that donated, uh, that amount or whatever can, uh, basically tell me the next build video they would like to see. And they might go, Hey, Grim, here's a $50 donation. Uh, make a dominator video, you know, a PVP guide or something like that. You know, hopefully they'll stick to PVP builds because I'm not too good at the PVE ones, you know, but uh, I can definitely learn them if people really wanted to see them. Uh, I got lots of reliable people that I can hit up and go, Hey, how do you play, um, you know, whatever, Paladin Tank in Dungeons or something. And, uh, you know, there's plenty of people that will tell me how best to do it. So, yeah, if you guys want to see that, we can make it happen. Um, also, there's other goals like... Uh, you know, uh, what if we hit uh, certain goals on there? Like, I think the hundred dollar goal is uh, I'll do a monthly uh, a wardrobe contest with uh, Discordia because I've already been chatting to her a little bit here and there. Uh, she keeps messaging me and uh, getting ticked off whenever I, I'm not responding very fast, but uh, I'm definitely wanting to work with her, so I need to be responding to her. So, uh uh, it's just I get so busy doing everything else and whenever I see the message I kind of read it on my phone and I'm in the middle of Walmart or something like that and not able to reply but uh, also uh, if we if we reach that goal I would like to uh, set more goals such as possibly working with a dimension touring company to do dimension contests for you guys every month uh set another goal of possibly uh doing the pvp tournaments coming up if you guys want to see this stuff please go to my patreon page and support the channel that way i can uh put more time into doing all this stuff for you guys because we have a lot of things that we'd like to do uh another thing is uh there's somebody that has made a dimension that is like parkour where uh, you, you basically jump on stones and the further uh, further you get, the more rewards you get. And we'd like to do a big contest on who gets the furthest in that uh, dimension. So there's so many things that I'm wanting to do for the channel, but I just got to have time to do it. So if you guys would be willing to support it, you know, go to the Patreon page and just donate a dollar every month or something. You know, if, if enough people do it, it'll make a huge difference. So yeah, let, let's, let's get this done. Let's get more things going. Um, of course, this is going to promote a lot of other people 
too because if I bring like Dimension Touring Company more to where you guys will be able to see it uh, if I bring Discordia with her uh, wardrobe uh, contest and everything like that it'll give you guys a lot more to see and do in the game and enjoy it a lot more rather than just going out and doing your raid every week or else doing some war fronts and you know maybe you'll enjoy seeing a pvp tournament maybe you'll see uh you know a parkour contests and all this stuff you know let let's do a lot of fun stuff but we just need the support for it so yeah we'll we'll see how it pans out but that's the uh, main goals with the channel we are uh, of course, we passed up 7,000 subscribers just recently. Uh, hopefully, we'll continue to gain. Right now, it's kind of a... Uh, the gains are slowing down. I think people are kind of uh, upset with some of the things in the game. And then you got other people trying other games. And a lot of other things. I don't, I don't think my channel is going down in quality to where uh, not as many people are subscribing and watching. But I think that people are trying different things rather than just Rift or, you know, whatever else. There, there's a lot of reasons it could be. It could be me, but uh, less people are subscribing and uh, yeah, it's slowing down on the, the improvements on the channel. But hopefully we'll continue to keep, to grow, keep growing, should I say. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll, uh, we'll surpass any... Uh, Rift player that's ever made videos or something. I don't know. You know, that, that would be hard to do because that would be like Bajira. He just passed 300,000 subscribers. He made several Rift videos. But we're the main Rift channel right now and we're the biggest of the active ones. So, yeah. Uh, Rift primary ones, should I say. All right. So, uh, that's basically resolutions for the channel. Um, the resolution I have for myself is uh setting times for everything i think i'm going to start recording all during nights now uh the way that i was currently doing it i was only able to play the game uh three or four hours a day you know uh, and that's not even playing the game only that's like doing all the video editing and uh all the other stuff i was only able to do it three or four hours a day but if I change around my times to where I do it at night time, I think I'm going to be able to do it like a lot longer. So you guys might be able to see more content from me if I'm able to schedule myself a little bit better. Um, of course, I got to schedule myself around spending time with the family and everything because you got to... It'd be nice to think to live on the computer and just do what you think is fun. But, you know, there's... There's people that, you know, are important in your life and you need to spend time with them and stuff. And that's also its own kind of enjoyment. So, yeah, a lot of times I want to get lost in the game. But then I think, oh, man, I need to spend time with the loved ones. You know, they go go take them out to eat and go do a lot of fun stuff. So, yeah, the scheduling is something that I've got to refine. And that way I can put out more content possibly. Um, another thing I'm doing is I'm going to the gym almost every day. So that is a really fun thing to do as in I feel so much better after I go to the gym. Um, I know whenever I don't go to the gym, uh, I get, I'm tired a lot. Uh, you know, I'll think, man, I, I need to edit this video, but man, I'm tired. You know, I, I know if I record myself, I'm going to look tired and, uh just not into it i gotta be like in peak form in order to record myself on video because i i need to feel good i need to exert you know positivity and stuff like that and if i record myself whenever i'm tired or something it it, it becomes a downer of a video and it's not very good so i've got to uh get my times right go to the gym and get the blood flowing and feel good you know and uh yeah that's the two main goals for my resolution for myself um also i'm wanting to get more trion videos out and s submit them to uh trion so that they can release them to you guys and you guys will be able to see more trion videos from me so that'd be very cool uh that's another goal personal goal all right so i think that's about all pretty long video but i've recorded this like two other times and i would just rambled and 
it, man, it turned into like a 30 minute video it, real easy, probably more. But I don't even know how long this one's going to be. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that you participate in the Rex giveaway and leave your character name and server in the description below. Now, mind you, you've got to be subscribed to the channel and hit that like button. Uh, I've never shown it on the channel, but there are every giveaway I do, I, I look and see if you are subscribed to the channel. And if you're not, I don't give you the prize. I just pick somebody else. And every single giveaway, there's always somebody that I got to pick a different person because they're not subscribed to the channel. Uh, so, yeah, make sure that you're subscribed and that I can see it. You know, you got you got to be able to do that. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.